Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 30th of 2022. Well, it is titled a solar prominence from Soho. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken by the Soho Observatory out in space, which is studying the sun. And this was taken back in 1999 and shows an amazing image showing the large prominence in the upper right hand side. Now, how can material be lifted off the surface of the sun? If we think about it, sun's gravity is far stronger than Earth's because of the larger mass of our sun. So it would be like it can be difficult to launch something off of Earth. It needs a very powerful rocket. It need, takes a lot more energy to be able to lift something off the gravitational field of the sun. However, one thing that can do that is the sun's magnetic field. So as these occur, the magnetic fields when they break out through the solar surface can actually lift material off the surface. So that is actually material from the surface of the sun that has been lifted off by a very strong magnetic field. Now the sun is made up of a plasma and that is essentially a gas that is completely ionized. So electrons have been ripped off of the atoms making them charged and charged particles do not cross magnetic field lines. So when the when the magnetic field lines break through the surface of the sun, they lift those charged particles up. And sometimes they will rain back down. So over time, that material will then fall back down to the sun. Other times, if the event is violent enough, it will actually rip that material off in a solar flare. So the material will then be expelled out into space. And the solar flares, if directed towards Earth, can actually give us the very strong aurora that we see sometimes. So we can get aurora at any time. But when the sun is more active, we have more particles coming from the sun. And that can give us much stronger and more intense aurora. Now we are coming up towards a solar maximum. We hit a minimum in 19, sorry, in 2020. And now a year and a half or so later, we'll be starting to head up and the sun will be getting more and more active. We will see more of the sunspot regions, which in this image show up as the very bright regions on the sun, the more active regions. And there will be more flare, more solar flares. So we can expect auroral activity to increase over the coming coming years as we go out of our minimum in 2020 and head towards a maximum a couple of years from now. So we can expect to see far more sunspots on the sun and far more solar activity with things like the prominences and flares. So that was our picture of the day for January 30th of 2022. It was titled a solar prominence from Soho. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be stellar icons. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.